What's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matvey. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today we're going to be taking a look at that song, CCR, Bad Moon Rising, and do a quickie on how to make it sound a little more jazzy, jazz reharm. That's, that's sort of the thing here, is um, how do we take a song like that, three simple chords, right? And how do we just give it that extra little bit of that jazz spice? We're going to be going over three chords, three, yeah, we're gonna be going over three very important chords you'll see a lot in jazz. Basically just gonna break that down and show you how to approach it. So we'll just kind of get right into that. So the song Bad Moon Rising by CCR, it's three simple chords. It's a D major chord, it's an A major chord, and a G major chord. And that's kind of it. And you're basically just playing those chords in that order, if not, um, I think the chorus it's a little bit different it's like g d then a uh, but yeah basically that <sighs> there's a big spider on my carpet right there and i saw him over there and i thought he was dead now he's over there he's alive okay i have to address this I, it's spider season i hate it <coughs> okay um the irony that i killed the spider and I just find a fly in the studio. We're gonna start with the first chord, and let's make it a seven chord, so it's a D major chord. I have some options. You can get to inversion and stuff like that, which we're not gonna do, but you could get into that. Anyway, a couple of reasons for this one. Um, it's, it's, it's nice, but really more than anything, I like to pay attention to the melody note is what I call it, or basically the highest registered note in each chord of the particular song. So in this instance, right, we have F sharp kind of ringing out singing. That's sort of the progression, right? So with this um, D major seven shape here, we have an F sharp on the seventh fret of the second string. So if you're not familiar with this chord, we have index finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string, with your ring finger playing the seventh fret of the fourth string, which is your fifth, which would be A. You have your middle finger playing sixth fret of the third string, and that's gonna be your C sharp, that's your seven, to major seven. And then you have your major third on the seventh fret of the second string, which is F sharp. And you play that with your pinky. So the next chord we're gonna be looking at is the A major triad. And so we're gonna apply the same principle. We're gonna turn that into a seven chord and see what happens. So we could do like an A major seven. Or if we're trying to really jazz it up, we can make this an A dominant seven, meaning we flat the seventh. So instead of this shape, instead of this chord, we can do something like this. And that works really well in the context of um, harmony because A is the fifth in the key of D and the fifth is typically, when you're adding on seven chords and extensions after that, the five usually becomes the dominant chord. That's what they call it. So it has a flat seven in it. So it's always a nice touch. And again, it goes with our whole um, melody line, the highest, registered note in A major triad, it's E. It's right here, so we still have to follow that. Right, so that works too with this. So that's how we get there. So now moving on to G major. G major, let's make it a G major seven. Now that works, so you can do like a that um, this is where you can kind of get really fun with the theory and just playing around with really reharmonizing this kind of thing so now we're, we're gonna utilize a completely different chord here instead of a G major 7 I'm gonna use an E minor 7 chord and a couple of things to E minor is the relative minor in G major and also when I'm trying to pick my voicings Again, following the, the melody, the highest registered note, we want to try to find 
in this case, G. And so we could do like a G major seven and just basically bar it across. We could do that, but um, this kind of gives us an opportunity to try out some new things. So um, because we're in this sort of area around the fifth position, you know, I'm probably thinking we, this is the G note we need to hit. We're just gonna opt to go for an E minor seven. It's right here. And it kind of keeps everything close in vicinity. So we have D major seven. We have A dominant seven. Then we have E minor seven. Those are the chords. Once you establish those chords, those are what you're gonna use. You can play around with them, different sorts of rhythms, make it sound a little bit more appropriate. Since this is uh, you're reharmonizing it, you're making it a jazzier thing. I, there's a fun trick I like to do where whatever you're starting on, play a half step before it and slide into that chord. So like if I'm playing D major seven, I'm gonna actually play a C sharp. I'm gonna actually play a. Uh, I'm actually gonna play a C sharp major seven and slide into D major seven. That. So that's 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 the thing. And there you have it. That's uh, my quick lesson for you. See how it turns out. We're gonna call this a get good lesson too. So this is uh, Get Good with Russian Guitar Guy. Hope you guys learned something from this. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like my video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, what you'd like to see me do next. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there.